Hi, what's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you these awesome LED solar lights. If you want to check these out, I have the link down in the description below. But they use sunlight to power them. So I'll show you some examples of what it looks like in the daytime and nighttime and how I mounted them. These LED solar lights are amazing. I actually bought a bundle of four and I have no regrets thus far, but I'll keep you updated in future videos. But this particular model has three different modes. I actually put it in the second mode, which that comes on at nighttime, but then it also stays dim. And whenever it senses any kind of motion, it turns on a lot brighter. And then in about 10 to 15 seconds, it'll go from bright to a dimmer light output. These solar LED lights come with some really nice screws and mounting brackets, but I highly recommend using some scotch or 3M double back taping made for outdoors. Here's what one of them looks like on the back. You can see how the switch is sealed and you have a setting of off to the one, two, three position. And once you take it into the dark or it turns into nighttime outside, then the light comes on. These LED solar lights are very lightweight and durable and it features 30 LEDs and it has a little circular motion sensor at the very top there. And in the second setting, like I said before, it stays dim, but once it senses motion, it gets really bright. And the moment it senses any kind of light, it also will cut off if it's really, really bright outside. So I highly recommend these. Um, definitely check out the link down in the description below. But I'm also gonna show you what it looks like at nighttime. So right now I'm in a garage that is very, very dark. Um, there is light outside, but inside the garage it is pitch black pretty much. So all the light you're seeing right now in this video is coming directly from this LED light. Um, so you can see the 30 LEDs on this thing is very, very bright. And I highly recommend before you install this thing and mount it permanently is to wait until it gets dark and test it out and see how it looks on the ground uh, as far as the output. In my opinion, 6 to 8 feet is the best distance from the ground to mount these LED lights from. The lower you put the lights is the better output you'll see on the ground, and then the higher you go up is the less output you'll see. Here's what the LED lights look like when I turn them off, and this is what it looks like when I turn them back on. I can't express to you how bright these things are. You actually have to see it firsthand. This video does not do the output of the light any justice at all. Here's a property where I installed four of these solar LED lights. Here's one right above the garage, and I have two on the side, and here's one in the rear, and this is a quick close-up of one in the back of the home. Okay, so this is what it looks like at nighttime. You can see that it's very bright even in the dim setting. So keep in mind that the one above the garage and the one to the right side is in the dim setting. There's going to be a third one off the far right that's going to kick on whenever it senses my vehicle driving past it, so check that out. And now for the lights that I did in the back right above the sliding door. As I approach the lights, you can see how they come on nice and bright. I'll zoom in real quick so you can see how bright this thing is. And then I'll zoom out so you can see how bright it is on the concrete on the patio there. This is how bright it is. These solar LED lights have so many different applications to them. You can use them in your garden, your patio, fencing, or any kind of dark pathway. But what's most enjoyable is the fact that you don't have to turn on the lights. They come on whenever it gets dark at night, and it has the sensors on them, and it has all these different settings. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. And as always, thank you all for watching.